Good afternoon, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to focus our attention on Matthew chapter 21, verse 28 to 31, the parable of the two sons. But this is going to be a two-part, I believe, maybe three-part series of videos that talk about the kingdom of God. Matthew chapter 6, Jesus commands every believer to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The question in this prophetic word over the next couple of videos is, what is that kingdom? How do we know what to seek? He says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The first video, the Lord wants me to show those listening to this video the kind of person that will seek that kingdom. The next video will be what the kingdom looks like. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We need to know what that kingdom looks like. The first video is to show you the kind of person that seeks that kingdom. And I believe it's important to have these two videos. The Lord wants me to share. Matthew chapter 25, verse 28 says, But what do you think? A man had two sons, Jesus said. And he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. And he answered and said, I will not. But afterward, he regretted it and went. And when he came to the second and said likewise, and he answered and said, I go, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said to him, the first, Jesus said to them, assuredly, I say to you that tax collectors and harlots enter the kingdom of God before you. So we have the story that Jesus is telling of two sons. He says, a man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And he answered and said to him, I will not go. But afterward, he regretted it and went. He regretted telling his father that he would not do it and went. Then he went, and then he came to the second and said likewise, and he answered and said, I go, sir, but he did not go. That's the person that doesn't seek the kingdom of God. The first person says, has a doubts and all the other excuses in the world, but there is someone in him, not something, but someone in him or her that regrets disobeying the father and does his will. Every single person that seeks the kingdom of God and his righteousness will always attribute a part of their testimony to this first son. This is what that person looks like. He answered and said, I will not go, or I will not, but afterward he regretted it and went. His life, his testimony about seeking God God's kingdom has to do with repentance. He can see his life repenting, not lying to the father, but regretting that he said that he wouldn't, and he went. Then he came to the second, and likewise, and he answered and said, I go, sir, but he did not go. He did not go. That's not someone who seeks first the kingdom of God. Someone who says, at face value, that they're going to do it. So everybody hears them say that they're going to do it, but they really never put feet to what they believe or what they say. That's why I always tell everybody to watch people's feet. Don't watch their mouth, watch their feet. Watch what they're doing. Which of the two did the will of his father? In verse 31, they said to him, the first, Jesus said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that tax collectors and harlots entered the kingdom of God before you. That's because the religious leaders he was speaking to were like the second son, and the tax collectors and harlots were like the first. They lived a life of rebellion, and they regretted that life, 
They first said no in their life, and now their life to God is yes, Lord. That's what it means. That's what it looks like seeking the kingdom of God first. God bless you. Have a great day.